Hello everyone, I'm Vladimir Vlad, aka Bulgarian Cowboy, and now I'm speaking about why UFC released Juan the Kraken Adams. Juan the Kraken Adams was actually a big promising potential guy who came from the American football from Houston, United States, and uh, he had pretty much a solid NCAA Division One wrestling background. Came to the UFC as an undefeated prospect with a score of 5 0, earning the contract at, uh, against Chris Dolorocci at your, sorry, against Sean Teed at Dana White's Contender Series 15. And uh, yeah, he outsmarted his opponent, pretty much uh, defeated him in a various way. Then, uh, even when the referee was saying, was saying up or down, up or down. He was uh, he was pressing it to get up, and he won that fight via TKO. In the first fight, he finished Chris De La Rocha, and it uh, looked like the career is going up. But then against Arjun Buller, well, I was watching that fight, you know. I was kind of thinking, man, Craig pretty much dominated that guy, and, you know, unanimous decision loss. It was kind of surprise, kind of surprising to me, but unfortunately after that, his downfall started. And uh, Greg Hardy loss, it was kind of unfair too, pretty much unfair because the two were not south. Greg Hardy was raining strikes. I mean, he wasn't answering, but he wasn't rocked against Justin Taffa. That's his only defeat. His only true defeat happened uh, against Justin Taffa, who rocked him, who came, who was on the... But I don't know, maybe it was too early call, but sometimes we are not the referees and such things happen. But uh, at the score of 1-3... UFC didn't decide to give him more chances and they decided to part ways with Juan Adams. So we're going to see what's next uh, What's next for this lovely guy. But, you know, Juan Adams is a very friendly guy and he helped me on numerous occasions. He even gave me an interview. He is, he is a very friendly guy. He's actually a guy who makes party with uh, his fans, who shows a lot of respect to his fans. And you'll, you'll hardly find uh, such a fighter ever. I mean, such a fighter is... They are very rare. They are, they are uh, pretty much uh, forgotten dimension in the world uh, of in the world uh, of UFC. You won't find many fighters that are so friendly towards uh, their fans. But uh, Juan Adams, before Justin Taffa, he said that he changed. Liked it. I generally liked it a lot because. I was hoping he'll bounce back with the victory and uh, maintain his uh, UFC contract, but uh, unfortunately, such thing, uh, such thing uh, didn't happen. And I just hope everything is gonna go well for him, because that guy, you know, he helped me a lot and uh, he helped me progress on uh, on the ladder. And uh, this guy deals with hate in a wonderful way. So he's he's the name we need, you know, and. He's really the name we need. He's entertaining, he's fun, he's friendly, and you'll hardly find uh, such a fighter because many fighters, they're kind of introverted. I mean, I understand them, it's normal. It's normal, but Juan Adams was one of the friendliest fighters ever. So yeah, I hope I hope he'll have more luck in some other promotions and I eventually hope he'll get his UFC contract re-signed in the next uh, few years.